One of the most dynamic people I've ever seen. I've already heard so much positive feedback. She was excellent. She did a phenomenal job. We think we're communicating. Like I said, we have this mouth, we have this vocal cords. What's going on? Let me tell you what's going on. The great thing about knowing your type is you need to know your type, but you also need to know who you are speaking to so that you can speak in a way that they understand. What can I take out of my toolbox? that is going to make me be relatable. And it's not about what you want to tell them, but what you need for them to know. Turn your misfortune into your mission. I don't want anybody to feel like they're in a straitjacket because they can't communicate. And that's when I realized that that's my mission. My mission now is to help people communicate. And it comes directly from my misfortune. We are not dealing with people of logic. We're dealing with people that are almost 100% emotional. It's what you're doing when you're doing what you look like you're doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she not only gave a great presentation, but she gave our attendees tangible tips that they can take with them and use to build their business. I felt like I went through this journey with her and it felt comfortable and easy and achievable. You are not your job title. Thousands of people can have the same job title as you. There's only one you. So let's find out who that you is and why you. I'm really comfortable in my pajamas, but you notice I did not wear them here today. <laughs> your mission can exist within the occupation that you have, or it can lead you to a new way, a beat or a new career. Own it while you own it. Because you're polishing and you're owning. If you're one of those people that needs to have a sense of control and you feel out of control, you're going to mistrust the person that's making you feel out of control. You're going to feel like, oh, come on, I just want to do it myself. Ha! Oh, oh. Ha! That's your power. That's your power. Ha! Oh, oh. Ha! That is not your power. <laughs> the brain processes either a threat or a reward, and look at that, one fifth of a second. One fifth of a second. You meet somebody and in a fifth of a second, you've decided whether they are rewarding you or threatening you. We're so excited that Robin came in to do our keynote address this morning. We had such positive feedback. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredible.